Revolution's on Ways of old are gone The heroes been replaced But I could save the day Xbox One. Uh, got a bundle with Connect. Xbox on. Xbox on. Oh my god. Xbox on. There we go. And uh, yeah. Now what I'm gonna do is basically I'm gonna hook up my Roxio and show you the dashboard from there. Okay, now I just walked in after using the restroom and uh, it signed me in automatically because the Kinect recognized me. And also, this is the new controller, uh, improved D-pad. I really like the Xbox button. I wish it lit up green. I also like how the buttons here are black instead of like uh, all a single color and uh, the thumbsticks are slightly improved they're a little easier to move they're smaller yes i see a dual shock there the triggers are easier to press on uh if you need to it's there's a mini usb there and it still takes double a's i don't care about double a's so uh, yeah uh the headset is very comfortable it is a lot better than the stock 360 headset they gave you uh, this is actually this part is really comfortable this right here plugs in to the base of the controller you can control the volume mute it's easier so that way you don't have to reach up here and grab which makes scammers even that much lazier so now let's go on to the dashboard okay now, this is the, is the new Xbox One dashboard. It resembles Windows 8 a lot. Now, I don't have a problem with uh, the Xbox running on Windows 8, but I do have problems with computers. I think for a console, this is a good software, but um, other people may beg to differ. Also, a cool thing they added was you can also choose what color you want your tiles so for instance I'm just gonna use red for right now and I'm gonna go back and voila the tiles are now red uh, Skype Skype is a really cool feature you have a 1080p camera which is a connect that zooms in on you when you're using Skype also I'm gonna use Assassin's Creed as an example right now here we are Loading up the Animus. Like we haven't done this before in previous videos. <laughs> uh, my season pass did carry over, but for some reason I'm too young to re download it. So, yeah. Welcome to the Here's Assassin's Creed Powered 4. By now, I'm gonna use the Connect. Xbox. Xbox. Snap TV. Now I have my 360 plugged in, so I'm going to turn that on. Give it one second. You can see my 360 loading in the background. Now what I'm going to do is full screen that. Now there is a little bit of a delay, but when you're playing like certain games, like uh, the game that's in my disk drive right now, it's not really a big problem. Uh, I was playing Halo 3. Uh, it's all it's all right. The delay is not that bad. I honestly thought that snapping it was gonna have a really bad delay, but it actually doesn't. It, um, it stays the the same way. It's not really laggy at all. Uh, it's really cool. Let's see. Uh, you can snap uh, basically anything you want. Uh, 
any app. I think you could snap another game if you wanted to, but I don't have another game uh, downloaded to test that out. See, right now, it's controlling the TV, so in order to switch that, we just say Xbox. Xbox. Switch. And now we can use Assassin's Creed 4 and we can hop right into a match and cancel. <laughs> My other connect heard me. Uh, so we're just going to jump into Assassinate real quick. And, uh, But also, uh, uh, I think the store is a little messy, but overall, the main part, the home, it's really cool. And then there's pins, which is also really nice. Uh, Skype has a, uh, is a really cool feature. I haven't really fully tested it out. Uh, I did have my friend call me to... Uh, Tested out earlier, and uh, it worked. But we were in the same room, so we got an echo. Terrible echo. Yeah, it was very, very bad. So uh, as you can see, I got some people online right now. Um, also, if I wanted to since my 360 Xbox watch TV cancel. This is uh, a bad thing. Uh, I have both of my connect plugs in. One of them is responding and the other one isn't. Full screen. Let's see. Alright, so here's my 360. But I can also snap. And I can also watch Netflix. You can watch cable and Netflix at the same time, which is very interesting. I haven't gotten to test the actual. Uh, what is it, cable feature yet? But I do plan to uh, sometime. Let's see here, we got, uh, if you have, if you are using the same profile and you were using uh, Netflix on the 360, it automatically remembers your uh, account, which is nice. It's the same with YouTube also, if you're signed in on the 360, it carries over. But now I'm just going to uh, watch TV, which is on my 360. And it's a really cool feature. I really like the Connect. I honestly wasn't thinking I was going to be using this feature that much. And then uh, we'll go back to the tiles. I want to fix my tiles. I just don't think it goes right with my gamer picture. You know what? I'm gonna go hot pink for now. <laughs> I don't know why. And then, uh, customer profile, change gamer pick. Let's see what new gamer picks we have. I haven't looked at this yet. Uh, we got some new ones. Uh, that is really cool. Slender Xbox Man. <laughs> Yep. It looks like a sort of Slenderman type thing. So that's uh, interesting. It's really cool. So, uh, overall, I do like the system. Uh, uh, depending on your TV, it will either load in 720p, or 1080p, or 480p. The dashboard does not support 1080i for some reason. I was playing it on a TV that only supports 1080i and lower resolutions. And uh, it's selected 720p and it wouldn't let me select, uh, what is it, hey. 1080i. And then I plugged it into a TV that could do 1080p and then it made it uh, 480p, which was weird. So I'm gonna go red right now. Just I do like the fact that you can change the tiles. It's really cool. And then you can jump right in, 
right into the game. Also, if your Xbox was off and you turn it back on and you had your game still going, you could you don't even have to load up the game. The game is right where you left off. Which is really cool. Also, I do believe that if you have another profile on here, you can, that one if you have one profile that has gold, the rest of the profiles have gold, which is a nice feature. Uh, I think PlayStation 4 does that. Yep. Yeah, my fr uh, friend Nate has a PS4. And, uh, yeah. Pretty much the same level for us. Okay, now the Xbox design looks like a box. Uh, it doesn't really look like a gaming console, but it does look it like... It lives up to the name. Yeah, it, look, it lives up to the box name. Uh... It is really more of a media device, but the games, yeah, games are good. It's good for playing games. It's yeah, uh, 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 shared games are gonna look the same, or at least most of them, uh, most of the time. I mean, uh, games shouldn't be watered down. Uh, it has a Blu-ray drive. It does play CDs, but you cannot rip them. PS4 doesn't play CDs for some reason, but the PS4, the design overall wins. Uh, for a console, but for me, the dashboard wins on the Xbox One. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and fave, and I'll see you later.